Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We shall learn different uh, font sizes in Notion today where you can customize your own font sizes. As in Notion, you only have three different font sizes and that is H1, H2 and H3. That is actually four if you consider the default font size in Notion. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to write down the syntax and then we shall move on to uh, how the functions actually work when it comes to a particular word or a sentence. Um, so yeah. So the first one is slash tiny. So let's take a look on how this actually works. So again I'm going to type in a word. This might re be really tiny, I guess. So uh, let's go ahead and create an equation. So I'm going to put it inside a bracket. And slash tiny. Okay, this is really tiny. And this can um, probably be used when it comes to a subscript or when you're looking for a really, really tiny font to put in your blog or your website that you want to create in Notion. So in times like that, this tiny function is really, really helpful. So let's move on to the second font and that is script size. All right. Type in the word. And using the function Size. Script size is actually slightly bigger, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference uh, when you're comparing it. But it's slightly bigger and it's slightly more visible to the naked eye. If someone is wearing specs, I mean, both tiny and script size is visible, but uh, you know, if someone is not wearing the specs, uh, tiny will look like almost invisible you know what I mean so there you have it so let's move on to the next function and that is footnote size again let's type in a word and footnote size can probably be used and I think it is slightly more big huh. okay okay I made a mistake right All right. so now when you think of footnote size you think of the footer or like a word that is like it shouldn't be that visible it's not really that important when you're looking at a blog so, but it's slightly more visible and even if a person just takes a glance, it's like, it's visible, it's there. So in case you want something like that, footnote size is really, really, uh, it comes in handy. So moving on to the next one, and it is small, okay, slash, small, I forgot to put in the slash, so make a note of that if you're taking notes. So let's type in the word and create an equation and the brackets. So when we use a function with the word small, it looks like this. So if you want, if you're writing a paragraph or something and you want to highlight it, like if you want to use a function called slash color or uh, let's say teal all right so uh, imagine that you have a sentence right so when you use a function called small it almost looks uh, cohesive and it's almost the same size as the rest of the font in the same sentence whereas if you just leave it as it is without using the function small 
um, it's not going to look as nice as the rest of the sentence as you can see here this looks as though we have used a bigger font size and this looks like a default font size of motion so I hope that made sense so let's move on to the next one and that is slash normal size so again let's type in a word and use in the equation normal size So now you can actually see the difference, like this wasn't without any function but it almost looks the same when it is used with the function called normal size. Uh, so yeah, you can use without the function or without the fun with the function, it will look sa same if you have a slightly bigger font along the same line in your same sentence so that will be really nice and cohesive and looks really aesthetic so let's move on to the next font size and that is slash large All right. so let's use a word and highlight it this part is becoming boring right let's move past it slash large alright you can add a space or not depending on if you understand the equation that's that's alright if you don't want to put space it's alright as well so just hit done when you are uh, ready with the equation otherwise sometimes you write a big equation and you don't hit done the entire hard work that you put into one word for that one equation it's all gone so just remember to hit done so now you can see as uh, the size as a function differs uh, it's kind of growing in size as well so different font size comes in um, use with different situations like it can either be uh, script size suppose like or we want a very tiny number or something like that it comes into use so whereas with large if you have the default font size as h2 or h3 uh, which in notion when you're just using that as it is without any function for that matter it looks kind of big you know like it's really nice to use that in heading because that's the purpose of it but if you want to you know highlight something make it look fancy uh, without using h2 h1 or h3 for that matter you can use the function large uh, and the fu following functions as well which is growing by size so the next function is almost similar to the previous one that is large but slightly slightly different it's not really different but it's kind of different you'll see what I mean and again slash and capital L large I mean when you look at it it it, it will be like okay this doesn't make sense you know so when you type in let's remove that and so when you type in and highlight it create an equation all the way to the starting or towards the end like how I started with the video but anyway as long as the equation is correct it doesn't really matter uh, and okay made a mistake because it's capital L right so L-A-R-G-E and the brackets so now you can actually see a visible difference in uh, in the function as you can see this function which is large and this function which is also large but the difference is this one is lower case of L and this is the upper case of L but it still makes a huge difference so speaking of huge difference the next one is also slightly more or less the same and it is huge let's go ahead and get rid of the dot and highlight it create an equation 
situation. Okay. Space. Remember to put the brackets. In some situations, the brackets don't really matter, um, but kind of important to keep a practice of using a bracket. So, the font size keeps growing and growing, which is kind of fun in situations where you want a capital, like heading situations or a subheading uh, situation like that. So the last font size that we have is huge, but this time with a capital H. And let's see how that looks different than the huge with a lowercase of H, you know. So again, create equation. Remember to put in the brackets, slash, capital H, huge A. All right, there we have it. It looks really big. It almost looks as though, like, let's compare it to the default of uh, H1. What's H1 like? I mean, it doesn't, like, huge is like huge. So now we can compare huge with a capital H to H1. I mean, when I look at it, it's as though it's H3, to be honest. Uh, so there we go. Like, let's. Um, do an italic of that or probably use a function on this to see how it actually looks because the previous ones was like default right let's try that out I mean oh my god it definitely looks huge to me I mean I don't know about you but <laughs> yeah this is like a really cool way to amp up um, to amplify the text if you're looking for an effect like that. So these are the nine different font sizes that we learned today and I will leave all the sizes in the description so make sure to check that out and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.